In this video we're going to see how we can clean our website from malware or other virus that may have infected the website. So, my, hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials for WordPress. A, a client of mine, not a client but a soon-to-be client, uh, approached me and said if, he, if I can uh, clean his website, he has more than one website, so he got a message from the SiteGround uh, company, SiteGround account, and said that uh, it, a malware was detected on one of his websites. Now the problem was he has uh, too many websites in one account. He has about 10, I think, but none of those were up to date. So one got infected and soon all of those got infected and had some malware inside. So as you can see, he has two pages with uh, domains and websites inside his account. So I have completed uh, all, uh, not all of those, but uh, many of those. I have cleaned many of those and I would like to make a video to show you how I have done it. Not everything is the same about virus and malwares in the website, but pretty much uh, the workflow and how you will get there, it's the same. Okay, you may f find some differences, but uh, browsing this, viewing this web, uh, video will get you a pretty much idea what you can do. So let's go first to the account, and this is the cPanel, and this is where the website is installed. So let's go inside, and if you know about WordPress file, you will see that it has a bunch of them that are not WordPress core files inside here. You will see that they're starting by they're starting by a number or some random letters and this do not make any sense. You can see here is the index.php but here are those files that you cannot understand what they are talking about. Here are also those and here are those three files that starting with a number. As you can see license txq okay but then we have another file and another underneath and some under here. So what I'm going to do first because I don't know how many of those are infected I'm going to upload first the WordPress court files. Okay this is a WordPress installation I have download, downloaded from the wordpress.org and this is the wordpress.zip so I'm going to copy it, everything in, inside here. Let's go first and copy that. So I'm going to double click here just to take the name and I'm going to right click it, select copy and then slash and the name. So the WordPress 5.3 zip will be copied inside the Tokyo 2020. Let's go inside and now I'm going to extract the file and I know that it will create one file named WordPress. Okay. And now, before you do anything, and maybe I, I should have done that also first, I want to take a backup of this .gr, okay? I know that it's infected, but before you do everything, please take a copy, take a backup. So I, I will compress it. It doesn't matter if the WordPress is inside, it's 12 megabytes more, okay? I forgot to do it in the first place, so I will do it now. So. Even though it's infected, I will take a backup because maybe when I try to clean and I will find something that uh, a procedure that w I will clean the website easier or I delete something that I didn't want to or I don't matter. It doesn't matter why. Take a backup first. Okay. The problem, of course, with this website is uh, for him, for my client, that he doesn't know when the malware was uh, got into the has got into the website so I cannot refer back to a previous backup I don't know wh where this happened when this started to happen so let's go again inside here and I will delete everything so let's go and delete uh, select all first and then I will deselect the WordPress the WP content which is all the content that uh, has uploaded the plugins and the themes and everything else and I will also select this file to not deleted the HT access. If it, he has a robot.txt I will not uh, delete it but he hasn't and let's go to the wp config 
and I will deselect it that either. I do not want to delete all of those. So just the con WP content, HT access, and the WP config I will keep. And of course, the WordPress file that is the new file. So I would delete everything else. And now I know that the, the website will not be working. Okay, I have a 403 error. And now let's go to the WordPress folder. I will delete the WP content. This is from the WordPress that I have just uploaded. It's not from his website. So let's go and select now all. And I will move all files. Move to the previous folder. Okay, move files. And I can go up and delete the WordPress folder. Okay, now I know now that the core files of the WordPress are not infected, except the HT access and the WP config, which I haven't checked yet. So let's go and edit that. And let's go and edit that with the viewer. And let's see, it's only the WordPress uh, default things inside here. So I will not do anything about that. And let's go to the WP config. And let's go and edit that. And I will blur out the... <laughs> uh, what are you seeing now? Hopefully they're all blur out because I don't want to see the database and the username. So let's go and scroll up and now I'm seeing if he has any malicious code inside here but he doesn't have any so uh, in other websites I did found something about here uh, underneath the WP memory limit and I just deleted that so let's close the WP config and now I know for a fact that it doesn't have anything in the core files just the WP content which I have to check so let's go back and refresh the page Okay, and now let's go and try to log into the WP admin. Okay, I have to update the WordPress database because the WordPress files, the WordPress version before, it wasn't the 5.3. I don't know which version had, but I uploaded the new files. So uh, the WordPress needs to update the database so he, it can work with the new version. So let's go and continue. And now I have to put my credentials. I don't know if I have any inside here. Let's check first. Of course, I will blur those out again. And okay, we're good to go. The same is correct. Uh, I, he has already put my credentials inside so I can connect. And now I have to go make some updates and then run the WordPress plugin. Okay, uh, this is a very easy thing to do uh, in this case because the, the malware and the viruses haven't done anything wrong with the page. It was still loading, it didn't uh, redirect me to somewhere else. It's a very easy thing to work around. So let's go first and update the plugins. Now, I know that many of you are confused about uh, the order that you're updating things in WordPress. First, you do the updates in the plugins, then you update the themes, and the third one is the WordPress. Okay, this is the order. You want to update first the plugins, so if it's a new WordPress uh, version, the plugins will be updated and working uh, are compatible with the new version. Then you want to update the themes, so the theme will also be compatible to the WordPress version. And then the third is the WordPress version. Okay, and if there is a version that it's a major update, so if we go from 5 to 6 or from 6 to 7 in uh, some years from now, do not rush to update except if there is some common problems in the previous version and there is some... Uh, uh, leak with, uh, I don't know, some viruses or something else and you have to urge and hurry up and update or else wait just about a week or something. Do not urge to do all the updates because in a live uh, website maybe you will have problems. If you can, take a backup and test it out. If you cannot, try the WP staging plugin or if you are in a hosting environment that can create staging, do uh, staging version and update those plugins and the themes there and the WordPress version so you're sure that it will not do anything wrong. So let's go and update all the plugins. I've finished talking. 
Okay. And then we're going to check the themes and we're going to update the themes also. And then we're going to install the WordPress WordFence security. The WordFence security will provide us with the scan and it will tell us which files are infected. And we're updating. I didn't check how many plugins uh, this installation has. I didn't check anything, but doesn't have too much. Okay, let's go to appearances, themes, and let's see what we can update here. Okay, so the new version of luxury travel. Let's go and update that. And okay, and there's no other thing to update in the themes. Okay, this is a little bit worried because uh, I don't know this SEO business. Uh, let's go for details to see. When was the last time it was updated? If it says every, anywhere here. Let's see. Okay, I don't want to leave the page. It doesn't matter right now. Hopefully it will update sometime and we can download an, an updated version. So let's go into the plugins and let's go and install a new one. Let's go to add news and let's go to word fence and install now. Be sure to make uh, backups every time first. Okay, I will not have to take a backup now, but the best the best defense from you against the virus or something else is if you keep a backup to yourself and every once in a while, every I don't know, three months or so, you can download a backup and keep it in your files somewhere just to be sure that everything will, uh, you, that you will have a backup no matter what. Okay. Maybe the hosting company will uh, crash the, all the servers will have a major uh, failure and I don't know what they can have. Let's go and refresh the page because I had here an update failure. So do not depend every time in the web hosting company. Let's go and activate that. Okay, and here you will ask for my email. Okay, no thanks. And let's go to WordPress dashboard. And the first thing I will do is I will disable all the notification because I have installed this to all his websites and I don't want a notification every single day. Uh, 10 or 12 notification every day for some things about his website. So let's go and uncheck this. I do not want to pause to pause the live updates when I remove the, mo the mouse from the this area. So let's go and disable everything and check everything. Okay. Okay. Activity report. No, I don't want an activity report. And I'm good to go. Let's go and save changings and then we're going to the scan. Okay, scan. And okay, close that and let's go and scan. Now I know because the website is not so big. If you can see here, the zip file of the website is 59 megabytes. So it does not, it, it is not a big website so it will take less than a minute to complete the scan so i will not pause the video you will have just to bear with me and hear me talking <laughs> if you haven't already bored about this so it has already found some things that i will delete or fix we will see and of course it's <laughs> okay let's continue with that <laughs> stop talking Okay, so here is the path that the file was founded in the plugins in WordPress HTTPS, lib WordPress HTTPS PHP. Let's go and see what is that. And let's go and view the file. And I can see that all of those is a malicious code. It's not something that I would need here. And this is for WordPress HTTPS extension, extends plugin and vid plugin modular. Now, I don't know this plugin. Let's go and check if he has a plugin like that in his website. 
and of course you can go also to the, this path and see what's inside here WordPress HTTPS let's go inside the plugins and see what we have in here so he has a WordPress HTTPS and since it's not enabled I will delete it because I don't want it he can uh, get the simply uh, SSL which is a very good plugin so let's go and back to our scan and I'm going to delete the file no I cannot delete the file at this time so let's go and see if it's deleted when I just uh, delete the plugin let's go to the installation and let's go to WP content then uh, plugins and then we're searching for HTTPS but it's already deleted now in case you didn't know which was the malicious code there are some bunch of uh, code inside here under the PHP inside the file that was were not making any sense okay if you find something like that you can delete it of course it's helpful if the plugin is uh, free then you can download it again and delete the plugin that he has already inside and uh, just upload the new one okay let's go to the next one in the scan I will mark this as as fixed and let's go to the second as you can see results found it was two first and now we have only one left and let's go and hit this and I know by a fact that this should be deleted because it's not a PHP file that anyone would name okay uh, anyone that would create a plugin or a theme he would name the PHP file or for something that he can understand and then uh, he can write it down somewhere and know what's doing what okay no one would uh, named anything like that let's go and view the file and here as you can see is the code the malicious code I don't know what it does I will not go and search it okay it's an array with uh, a function here that it will say I don't know I have to go and check every single uh, thing of that just to see what it does but it doesn't matter I would just delete the file and then I will search again by starting a new scan and if we came up negative with the malware or anything else we're good to go okay the last thing I would go and uh, check the settings in the word friends and make sure that everything is as it's supposed to be So hopefully they are all uh, turned as a tick and nothing is found so you don't have to listen to me anymore. Let's go and see the dashboard and here are all the options if you don't know how to configure the word fence I, I may have to do a video about that leave it in the comments below and maybe I will do a video about that I will not prolong the video I have uh, to check two websites I think more and thanks for watching guys please remember to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you all in the next video bye guys